and slowly but surely we're starting to bring in more of those clouds and that's what we're going to continue to see as we move throughout the afternoon as an upper level disturbance starts to impact us and we have continued to see a bit of an uptick with the rotation. It seemed like we had a bit of a calming Tornado period. Warning. Tornado warning on this particular cell. There it goes until 430. So Bullet and Nelson. So now we are going to be on until 430 because of this rotation that has continued to go up with this cell. So let's dive in a little bit closer. You can see Jude's outlining exactly where that rotation is. It's just to the south and also the east of Ridgetop. This is a destructive winds essentially. Even if there is not a tornado on the ground, this is still going to be problematic. We're getting tons of storm reports. What happens today will impact tomorrow. So if you're planning on coming to Oaks, you want it to be dry today. If you're going to Derby, you want it to rain more today. So it's kind of like playing the odds at a horse race. If we get into the 90s, that would be our 65th day in the 90s. This low just continues to churn counterclockwise over our area. So that's where we have this flash flood watch in effect throughout the rest of today. Absolutely frigid start to your Valentine's Day, but the good news is not lasting too long. One will be able to ditch the hat, gloves and scarves. This is going to be your best friend this morning, your ice scraper. We're going to head over this way to show you what the LaGrange City Hall sign looks like. It is a sheet of ice. It's a layer that's very, very thick this morning. And it's hard to get off because of the ice and snow that has developed throughout the course of today. This ivy here is completely frozen. The water beneath me is very murky, very dirty. And if you look behind me, you go another 20 feet and that's when it really starts to get churned up. It gets a little bit more dangerous. I would be this in a second. As you were saying, there's a little fan in here, so it's actually really comfortable. It's a little hard to walk in, but it's a real statement costume. <laughs> She's making it's a real statement costume. She's making the sacrifice for us. And hey, look at that. There they are. WDRB meteorologist Katie McGraw is certified by the American Meteorological Society. Good morning. Hope you're having a great weekend so far on this leap day. It's a very chilly start to your weekend. We're at 19 degrees in Charlestown, middle 20s for most of Metro, 25 for downtown, 26 at the airport, 22 only for LaGrange. Widening out that perspective for the rest of the viewing area, 19 for Bedford, 21 for French Lake. You get the idea that it is cold and it's not just us all the way down to the deep south, Atlanta, 38 over into London 26, Chicago to 17 this morning. So cold air is in place. High pressure is taking control this weekend, so we're going to see some improving conditions. The sun's already out and shining, but we're going to be watching that system that's up to the northwest and the Pacific Northwest. That's going to be tracking towards us over the course of the next two days, and it'll start to bring some changes starting as early to, as tomorrow. So first things first, looking right now, we do have Lots of sunshine expected for today. Chilly temperatures all the way until really the afternoon. I think throughout the entire day. Highs in the upper 30s to low 40s. The sun will win though. Lots of sunshine. Eventually the winds change direction out of the south. That's important because it will help increase those temperatures for tomorrow. You notice that it's not just the temperatures increasing though. We'll also start to see an increase of clouds. Starting first, partly cloudy skies. We'll also see an increase in the temperatures getting into the lower 60s. Eventually we become mostly cloudy. Now the rain chance, I have a 20% chance for tomorrow, but I think it's really going to hold off until very late. Here we are at midnight on Monday, Sunday, and we are going to have that rain pushing in, but it's more likely on Monday. And we're going to see waves of rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Chilly, but sunny for today. 43 degrees, a gorgeous day truly, but it's going to be cool below average the entire day. Clear and cold for tonight, 32 degrees. Now with this next system that moves through, it arrives late on Sunday, stays until Wednesday, clearing out pretty early on Wednesday. The track of this system has been pretty uncertain. It keeps changing. And at this point, that axis of heaviest rainfall that at one point was at right on top of our viewing area continues to push to the south which is good news. It still looks like we could pick up one to two inches with locally higher amounts of three to four inches in some places. But as that system continues to push more to the south, our rainfall totals respond to that and they continue to show up lower. So what we're looking at when we see this system, mostly cloudy skies by Sunday, then comes the rain. We'll certainly have widespread rain and at times it will be heavy, but you notice it's not consistently raining during that time frame from Monday to Wednesday. We'll have some dry time. Notice that that area of yellow and reds though, 
more to the south. At one point, that was much higher. We're going to continue to watch it and monitor because if it does end up being more to the north, it would impact us. We could have flash flooding concerns. We will keep you posted. Temperatures stay mild into the 60s through Tuesday. Slightly cooler for Wednesday. I did up at a few degrees since the last time we checked in into about the lower 50s, but we are much cooler a week from today with a high temperature back into the lower 40s. Yo-yo temps continue. We've been talking about today for the past few days, a day to be weather aware. Storm Prediction Center has most of our viewing area underneath a moderate risk. That's a level four out of five. It means that we could see supercells, widespread strong to severe storms. It doesn't include all of our viewing area, but I would say that just act as though you are because we all pretty much have the same potential. Damaging winds, large hail, few tornadoes, but really we have all modes of severe weather on the table potentially. Worst of the storms this afternoon and evening. I would say our main threats destructive hail and damaging winds. We could see some really large hail with this storms later today. Rain rates two to four inches per hour, but they're going to be moving pretty quickly, so we could see a few flash flooded warnings, but they're going to be pretty brief. We've already seen one round of strong storms, nothing severe, but that already moved out earlier this morning, and now we have ample dry time allowing our atmosphere to heat up. We've also seen a couple isolated storms pop up. You see this one that storm in Du Bois County around 1030 and then moved throughout Orange County. Now that one already dissipated, but there's another cluster of storms just to the north of Jackson County. That one's actually blossoming quite nicely. You see how there's quite a bit of lightning there, heavy rain too, and what we are paying attention to for later this afternoon. From Chicago all the way down to St. Louis, you see how there is some cloud cover, some light rain at this point. That is going to be where we see more showers and thunderstorms developing later today. That's the cold front and an unseasonably strong low to the north of that. This is something we usually see in the middle of spring, not the middle of July, and that's why today is such an oddball day. It's 83 right now. We have a dew point of 73. The dew point has surged in the last 12 hours, really. Yesterday at around 10 o'clock, Rick was doing the evening news and the dew point was 57. Now it's at 73. And even in the last two hours, it went from 70 to 73. So the moisture continues to boost. A southerly wind at 10 to 11 miles per hour. And that's where we're getting all of this moisture from. You can see how strong that low is. That's showing that wind and bringing all of that moisture right to Kentucky. And that's the fuel for these showers and storms later today. I think between about three and five, we're going to start to see some more of these showers and thunderstorms develop, and it's going to continue through the rest of the day on and off. If you don't see any in the evening, I think you could see more later tonight. Notice on advanced track here, it's at 1230, and we could still have more strong storms because there's still a lot of instability available even after the sun sets. Cold front pushes through, but there's still a low hanging around the area. So showers and thunderstorms will continue through the rest of the weekend, mainly in the afternoon and evening. Sunday, I think it's going to be the better chance of the two to see some soggy conditions. And because it's going to be a bit rainy, temperatures cooler than normal. Average is 89. We're going to be about 10 degrees cooler than that. And scattered showers and storms continue into next week.